Hello all you shining stars, welcome to my channel, Shining Star Soup. Today is the day I taste test two of the products I'm most looking forward to and two of the ones I am just like, oh my gosh, what are they thinking? Alright, so <laughs> I'm just gonna start off right off the bat with this, um this mayo and dried fish that I got in my Japan crate. I was talking with my friend, a little shout out to Robin, who mentioned uh, that this is something that she eats on a regular basis. I'm not sure if it's with mayo, but um, this says it's good till uh, October 2019, 23, or maybe, yeah, uh, yeah, October 2019. Okay, so guys, let's do it. Let's uh, let's dive right in. And so this is the fish. This is the fish. It, this is the dried fish. It, it looks like it kind of looks like a piece of rice paper, to be honest with you. So I'm I'm laying my fish down. All right, got my fish laid down. I don't know if I'm just going to go all in for it and just shove it all in my mouth or just take a little ba bite, but I haven't decided yet what I'm doing. Okay, and this is the mayo. This is the tiny little pack of mayo. There's like maybe like two drops in here. I'm just going to cut it open. Alright, and I'm just going to spread on the mayo. It wasn't refrigerated, but... Mayo doesn't have to be, because Miracle Whip and other mayo is just, it has to be refrigerated after you open it, though. All right, so I, I, I've spread it on. I've, I've spread on, on my little thing. Are you ready? Are you ready to do this with me? Hmm. It doesn't... Oh, there it comes. There comes the fishy taste. I feel like it tastes like anchovies, and it's honestly not as bad as I thought it would be. Yes, I'm still eating it. I'm still eating my dried fish and mayo. Okay. Oh. <sighs> okay, you know what? The fish wasn't so bad. The mayo. It's the mayo. The mayo is awful. Oh, jeez whiz. Oh, man. I thought I was going to survive that, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't eat all of it. That mayo. Fish was not bad. The mayo. Okay. Let's, um, let's go for another worse so that I can go for the ones I'm actually looking forward to trying. These are like crunchy snacks. However, some of them are spicy and some of them are sweet and supposed to be a surprise. They're supposed to be one that's that's really kind of spicy. I don't do well with spicy. I do well with mild. Mild spice is okay. All right. Ugh. Why do I do this to myself? Oh, oh. okay. So I was expecting their, their little squares. And I don't think I'm going to force you guys to sit here and watch me eat 12 of these things. I'm just going to start with one. Maybe... I wonder if it has a little picture on it. I wonder if they're different. Do I have different colors? Okay, so I have a feeling, because I see a red one. I have a feeling the red one's going to be spicy and the black one is not going to be. So let's go for the spice. I got my water. I got my Fanta, which I kind of would want to try on its own. But I have a feeling... The red one's a spicy one. 
Wouldn't it be mean if they, uh, if that wasn't it at all? Okay. Oh, here it comes. There's a spice. Okay. The spice is like really like spicy dynamite Cheetos. I think I've had one. It's not excruciating place excruciatingly painful but definitely has a kickback and the aftertaste once the heat's starting to get off it's not too bad okay now the white the, the black one which i'm assuming is just sweet that's more my style Try not to talk my mouth full. Hmm. All right. Still talking my mouth full. <laughs> hmm. Not that bad. Next thing on my favorite. My peach mint Kit Kat. Again, I was very disappointed. It only came with three. I was expecting a bag. Like, felt very ripped off by this one. And it is a little melty, but that makes sense. I mean, it was sitting in a box. Who knows in what hot little warehouse just waiting to be shipped to me in Canada. Hmm. That was very nice to have after that spicy one. A little bit of story time, but it's a mini one. My husband always eats twice as fast, sometimes three times as fast as I do. So I'm a very slow eater. All right. We got the Fanta Orange, and this one boasts like, or lemonade, this boasts like 18 lemons or something in here. Lots of vitamin C, lots of vitamins. Now, if any of you remember, uh, three months, so this was my last month of Japan Crave. The first month, this is July, so May, I got friggin' jelly coffee. <laughs> June was cheese milk. Finally, they sent me something I can tolerate. I've never had this kind. I hope it's not too lemony. And this is to wash everything down. And hope I don't get a stomach ache from that friggin' fish and mayo. Nice. All right, everybody. So. I didn't want to do a taste test of the whole box and for the last three this is what I've done the best and the worst the ones I was looking forward to and the ones I was like oh my gosh what were they thinking so um yeah verdict that fish and mayo was awful but the mayo more than the fish the fish was fine the mayo was <laughs> the the spicy was spicy but not like overpowering these little chocolate things the peach mint Kit Kat, two thumbs up. However, I wish they would have given me a whole bag. And the Fanta was a nice way to wash it down. All right, if you guys stay for the whole video just to see my face, because <laughs> my, my other two ones have been quite funny. <laughs>
thanks for watching and um, I hope all you shining stars have a shining star day, shining star. Hope you had a shining star week and have a shining star weekend. Bye.